welcome back to another video. I just celebrated my 22nd birthday. I know a lot of people think I'm older, but I am only 22. And I did my makeup yesterday for dinner. We went to a steakhouse in Montreal called Moishes. I wore a dress. I never wear dresses. I'm like a legging sort of girl. And I really liked the makeup I did. I used a bunch of new products that I haven't shown on my channel before. And I'm never the type that looks in my pictures. I'm like, oh my god, my makeup looks so good. But last night, I did think my makeup looked really good in pictures. So I wanted to film a get ready with me so I could share it with you guys. I just wanted to say thank you all so much for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. I can't reply to everyone's messages personally, but just know that I'm so, so thankful. And you guys made my birthday extra special. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know that Coffee and Couture is having a site-wide 22% off sale. We do this every year for our birthdays where we offer our age basically for the percentage off. We also released a special birthday collection which features my Pave disc necklace that I always wear, a new evil eyepiece which I never want to take off, and we also introduced some bangles which are super fun and there's a bunch of different combinations. So definitely check out the site and you can browse my birthday collection because I truly love, like this is probably one of, I say this about every collection but it's seriously one of my all-time favorite collections. I also just wanted to let you guys know that we do still have some Evil Eye phone cases available. They were pre-ordered, now they are not pre-ordered so if you are interested in getting a case you don't have to worry about waiting, they will ship out same day next day. Yes, these Evil Eye cases are one of our best sellers and super fun. So I'll leave all the sale info as well as all the products I use and my shades in the down bar down below and without further ado, let's get ready. So, to start off my makeup I thought I would tell you what I did before actually putting on any makeup. Yesterday while I was getting ready, I decided to be a little bit extra and I did this Peter Thomas Roth mask. It's the gold mask. It says it's supposed to lift and firm. I don't know if it did any of those things. I was like, it's my birthday. I'm gonna go the extra mile. I did use this Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask on, oh, oh my God. I hate whenever I'm editing and I see elastic bands on my wrist, so I'm taking it off. And then I followed that up with my Drunk Elephant C Firm and Day Serum, which is a vitamin C serum. If you want to hear more about my skincare routine, then definitely check out my video I did about all my skincare favorites and stuff that I've been using recently. Something I forgot to mention in the video was my jade roller. I got this from La Brow Bar in Montreal. You know what? Jade rollers are really just supposed to lift your skin, depuff your skin. So I did do this last night after I applied my uh, C Firma vitamin C serum. I don't know if it depuffed anything, but I do like to do this, especially in the mornings. You're supposed to go upwards, so I just went upwards all around. It feels really nice and natural jade is naturally cold, but I like to keep mine in the freezer so it can be extra cold and then sometimes I'll just go under my eyes. I have my makeup bag full of makeup. I actually got this at Sephora yesterday. It was a 250 point perk. And it came with an all-nighter spray and then also a quick fix, which is a prep priming spray. So I decided to pick it up and honestly, Sephora's points suck. I wish we had an Ulta here. The point system is so awful at Sephora. Can we just talk about that for a minute? I'm a VIB Rouge, which means I spend over $1,000 a year at Sephora. And if I'm going to be honest, I spend way more than $1,000. And I get like a freaking sample, like thanks. At Ulta, you get money off, you get really cool samples. So I'm really bitter about that. Ooh, feels nice. I just don't understand why Sephora's point system sucks so much. If we had Ulta here, I would shop exclusively at Ulta. I've even played with the idea of buying the makeup that I can at Shoppers Drug Mart or Pharmapri because at least at Shoppers Drug Mart, you get so many points and you get actually money off. Yesterday, I used my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. My skin just reacts so amazing to this. Another thing that I love is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. Michelle was watching me do my makeup yesterday and he was like, what the hell are you putting on your face? Like that is really not your color. Tony was actually given this by Becca, like by a rep um, for Becca. And she was like, oh my God, I love it. So I asked her one day if I could try hers. I wonder if she even took it back. I don't know if she took it back. I'm gonna put some down my neck. And she's like, it just makes you look so flawless. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing this on vacation because even if I just put this on with some SPF, like it really makes your skin just look a lot better. It just really compliments your skin. It doesn't add like a lot of color. It's not super bronzy. 
it just honestly makes your skin look so nice. So now I'm just gonna go in with my eye primer. This is the Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. I love this. For eyes, I keep it really simple. I'm just taking this Brass Knuckles Eyeshadow by L'Oreal. It's a really nice bronze. And I just applied that all over my lid. I just keep it really simple with my eyes. I just like the look of one shadow and it's just quick okay like for me i'm just not super into like really done up like this look is definitely like my done up look on an everyday basis i definitely don't do all this i just put that all over my lids and then i just take a like blending brush in the crease and i'll just sort of blend it like up into the crease so that it looks a little bit like not so like just I'm wearing a lid shadow. But now for foundation, I'm going in with a new foundation that I, Tony actually got me for my birthday. And I don't know why they put this ugly sticker on it. Probably because I live in Quebec. This is the Dior Skin Forever Shine Control Foundation. And I have the color 31. I really like this foundation. I'm going to take like three pumps. I got a sample of it and I really wasn't expecting to like it that much. I know that this is like a big favorite among YouTubers. So now I'm just taking a brush and blending it in. And you know what's funny is... I like it. I like the way this looks, but I didn't notice like how much I liked it until I looked at pictures that we took last night. I was like, oh my god, my skin looks so good. And this does have SPF, but we took so many pictures and there was no flashback on my skin. I'd say this is probably a little bit more of a full coverage foundation than my Armani Luminous Silk, which I love. Sometimes like if it's really hot or humid, like it's been really humid here in Montreal, I feel like the Luminous Silk can sometimes make me look a little greasy or I feel like a little sticky and since this is the shine control foundation I feel like I don't have issues with that. I always blend onto my ears. I always blend down my neck. Oh by the way I get a lot of questions whenever I wear this necklace. This is our new Pave Disc necklace. It's not real diamonds. It's a really good price but this like looks so expensive. Like the Pave de detailing on it is really gorgeous and we also have new bangles and a ton of different combinations which i'm obsessed with a new evil eye bracelet this is the double wrap la petite sirene like a mermaid um i'm not i can't speak french yeah we have a ton of new stuff we released um for my birthday i'm obsessed with like all the new stuff it's so nice i also have a bar necklace that i like to wear with this but because it like it went down a little bit longer I decided not to wear it with it, but I love this disc necklace. I wear it every single day. Something I like to do with any of my foundations if I apply it with a brush though, is I always go back with a beauty blender and I pat my entire face just to get rid of like, I feel like the excess. So now it's time for a concealer. My favorite concealers are Tarte Shape Tape and Makeup Forever Full Cover. I think I'm gonna apply a little full cover just on my little blemish like around here. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and my colors are light, medium, honey, and medium. So what I do is I just take it and I go like this. And I'll take the lighter one. And I'll just sort of dab down the middle. My cupid's bow. I don't like doing a ton up here. So I'll just do like some dots. And then I take the medium. I really should order more of this before I leave. But I'm scraping it. Um, and then I'll take the medium and go like this. And then... Like that. And then I will blend it in with a beauty blender. And now I'm just going to set my makeup with the Cody Airspun powder. And I have the translucent extra coverage. I really love this powder. Oh shit, it's like everywhere. Don't love the packaging, don't love the scent of it, but it does set my under eyes really well. And it's super finely milled. So I typically only, you know what this smells like? It kind of smells like a Pez candy, I find. Or like, no, it smells like a rocket. Or in the US, you call them Smarties. So I'm just gonna do under my eyes because since this is a more full coverage foundation, I don't feel like I need to really set it, but I do like to set a little bit on my chin, just like that. So now I look a little crazy. You guys know how picky I am about liquid eyeliners? This is the best liquid liner that I found from the drugstore. It's the Maybelline Curvitude Liner with the Curve. It's so easy to apply, super black, super wet. It's really a great drugstore eyeliner. I've been reaching for this a ton. So I'm gonna curl my lashes with my favorite 
eyelash curler ever, the Tweezer Man Rose Gold Eyelash Curler. I'm gonna line my eyes with the Maybelline liner and then I'm gonna go in with a mascara, not sure which one yet. I get some questions about why I don't show myself doing the liquid liner. Honestly, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not a makeup guru, I'm not a makeup professional, so I've done this so many times that I feel like it's kind of pointless to show it again. And I don't really think that it'd be that helpful for you guys to see me do it because I don't really have a way of explaining how I do it. Okay, I'm back with my completed eyes and eyebrows. And for my brows, I use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. So now is my favorite part. I get to wipe away the baking. And I do bring it like around my face. That's why I don't really powder my face because I do I use what I already have on my face. Now I don't feel like the look is complete and I don't really love my look until I do my lips. So I'm gonna do my lips now. My favorite lip liners currently are actually the Maybelline Color Sensational lip liners. I am obsessed with these. If you want to hear more about why I like them, check out my current favorites video because I go into more detail. This one is number 105 and it's a little bit more nude than like my normal ones I like to wear. But I like doing that almost as a, like a little bit of a primer because it's more natural and it just lines the lips without being like boom in your face. But I'm going to take the um, number 125 and I'm just going to kind of outline a little bit. Then as a little base, I'm just going to take a little bit of my Bare Minerals Wink. So now I'm going to let my lips dry a little bit. Now I'm just going to take some of my Chanel bronzer. I'm just going to swirl in a little bit. Then I do like to take a little bit on my nose, just for a very slight contour. Then I'm going to take the MAC 140S brush, like that. I've been getting a lot of questions about my highlighters recently, and I like to use this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, like the poured one. And I'll just take a little bit on my beauty blender and just dab it down the bridge of my nose. And then I'll go in with, this is one of my favorite highlighters and it's from the drugstore. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome in poured, no, molten gold. I'll just take my fan brush or I like the Anastasia one. Just pop it on my cheeks like that. And then like in my favorites video, I mentioned that Yash by MAC is one of my current favorites, so then I'll just go in and put on some Yash on top. And then if I'm feeling really spunky, I'll just take some of this Becca, like their little lip topper, and I'm done. My birthday look. Ooh. All right, so this is my completed look. This is the makeup that I did for my birthday. I honestly, when I saw my makeup in the pictures, I never look at my makeup and I'm like, wow, like my makeup looks really good. But when I looked at those pictures, I was like, my makeup's on point. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to use the code CAKE22 for 22% off. Obviously 22, I just turned 22. For 22% off, shop coffee tour site-wide. Tony and I are both going on vacation in the middle of August, so we are cutting off the order dates on August 6th. So that way we have time to process every order and get every order out before we leave. With that said, I will leave all the information and all the links to everything I use and my shades in the down bar down below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night depending on when you watch this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.